Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we are going to talk about bipolar electrolytic capacitors. This is one of them here, used commonly in crossover designs for loudspeakers. So you can see that the sizes of these do vary, is a handful. Um, they're used commonly in manufactured speakers because they're kind of low cost and they're kind of low profile. They're not particularly big. So comparing this is a 20, these are all 22 UFs. This is a 22 UF film cap. So actually it's 25, so it's kind of near, um, which is interesting because I just picked out the 22 UF drawer. So sort that one out. Um, now recent news is with regard to these, um, there is a shortage of materials in the world um, due to electric car kind of manufacture and different cap manufacturers used in um, manufacturing of all sorts of things. Uh, obviously COVID has not helped. Um, so as a result, Mundorf and Jatson have ceased production of a couple of their ranges but before I tell you about that, I'm going to discuss the two different types of bipolar caps that you can buy. So this is a Mundorf raw 22 UF 100 volt. See the size of it? It's quite small compared to the 22 UF 70 volt plane. So the, the difference in these two is the fact that the foil in this is the surface of it is rough, as in raw, just to achieve the high capacitance. So that's why it's so small and quite cheap to make. The problem with manufacturing the planes now is the price has quadrupled, doubled, you know, six, seven times as much as it used to, to be because the foil used in this, is referred to as plane, um, is hard to get hold of and it's just become incredibly expensive. So as a result, Mundorf, um, their range of ECAP audio planes and Jatson's Elko range, which they refer to as smooth, have, they've just stopped production. They've not reordered any. So as a result of that, because we know that the planes are much better than the rules, we have bought literally both of those companies' entire stock. And this is thousands and thousands of caps because we know in the long term, people are going to be wanting them, um, uh, especially kind of manufacturers. So if you need them, come to us. We haven't got the full range, but we've got pretty much all of them. So a bit sad, but there you go. Um, so that's those. Um, as a result of this, Jackson have brought out a new capacitor called the Ellie Cap. Um, this is it here. This is one of them. This is the 22 F 100 volt here. Um, this is built on a raw foil base. Um, and the good thing about these are that they're 5% tolerance, so that's good. They also have their standard bipolar ones, which are these. This is the 22 F 100 volt. Um, similar size actually, but they seem to have got the tolerance better on the Ellie cap. These are 10%, so they're reasonably similar in price, they're quite cheap anyway. Um, and then just for a comparison, this is Mundorf's raw type, which you can still buy. This is the 22 UF 100 volt. Um, so that's the news on that. The other thing is what we did back in October, we had a lot of customers saying to us, I've got an old Celestian Ditton crossover. It needs a strange value a non-standard value, for example, a 7, 7 UF electrolytic bipolar capacitor. Um, obviously, they're not standard, so they're quite hard to get hold of. Alcap used to be able to, they used to make those, but they're becoming hard to, to buy now. So we actually had an arrangement with Mundor to start manufacturing really, really kind of obscure values that are used in all the old style 70 speakers. So. A majority of the ones, we, we actually have a pallet coming in in, the, in a week or so. The values we're doing, will be shown on the screen now. There is about 16 new plane type, type and there's four 
um, raw type. So that's great news, bit of a scoop. Timed it brilliantly um, to get those in. So, and we'll here bought thousands of those as well. So if you want plain caps for your bipolar, you know, needs for your crossovers, where'd you go? Hi-Fi Collective, check it. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.